Canadian manufacturers, the Federation of Independent Business, the Chamber of Commerce, the Conservative opposition, thousands of truckers for over a month have proposed solutions to the trucking shortage in Canada and the supply chain crisis, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister has ignored this crisis, and even worse, he calls names for people that are raising these very issues. So, Mr. Speaker, my question is simple. Will the Prime Minister move past the division and agree to meet with some of the truckers impacted by his federal regulations? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the science is very clear. The best way through this pandemic is to get people vaccinated. That's how we end the disruptions to our supply chains caused by this global pandemic. That's how we get back to the things we love to do. That's why we've been unequivocal on the need to get vaccinated. And great news, Canadians across the country stepped up. Almost 90% of Canadians are vaccinated, including almost 90% of truckers, because we know that the <laughs> biggest disruption to our supply chains happens uh, when people catch COVID. That's why vaccinations are the way through it, and we're going to continue to be unequivocal about that. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, when you ignore and divide a country when it needs to be united, that's not leadership, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister knows that the voices of a few don't represent the millions of Canadians who are worried. Millions of Canadians over two years have seen their lives upended, their children's mental health impacted. Businesses fail, Mr. Speaker. The nation being stretched in our social fabric. Vaccines are critically important, but as the Prime Minister's own COVID diagnosis demonstrates after three vaccinations, <laughs> we have to use all tools, Mr. Speaker, to get our life back to normal. <laughs> 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 <laughs>